Happy evening, my friend. How are you? Hmm. Let's just drop in together. I want you to just take notice of your belly. Breathing in. Let's let the belly move when we breathe, yes? Tucking it all the way back to the spine. Breathing in and letting it blow up like a balloon. And tucking it all the way back into the spine. Interesting. Mm, I'm seeing something. All right. So let's call in our angels and our guides and those who are here to support us specifically you and your work and your mission and your purpose. We're going to invite them to come and hold space with us. So we will hear exactly what needs to be heard tonight. We're going to ask that we will be guided in this practice so that you may feel completely supported completely loved and seen hmm. okay we're going to ask that light will touch our ears so we can spiritually hear what needs to be heard the light will touch our third eye chakras so we can have access to all of our spiritual gifts the light will cleanse our lips so that we speak only what needs to be spoken Hmm. Well, I'm embarrassed. I had the practice show up, and then what did I do? I just pushed it to the side because I wanted to follow the structure of calling in our team, and guess what happened? I lost it. So that's a really good lesson. <laughs> How often... Do you receive creation, but it's not coming in the format or form or structure that you want? I was coaching someone today and these words came out of my mouth that creation never follows structure. Yeah, I'm sure we give them lots of things that creation follows structure, but in this sense of divine creation, divine inspiration, it doesn't follow the boundaries and borders in which we place wants to come through when it wants to come through and we have the opportunity to choose to receive it if we don't bring it to earth we lose it it's a spiritual amnesia right so i literally saw the practice coming in it was right here i was so excited and then i said all right i'll get to you after i do my whole protocol and now it is literally gone <laughs> let's see if we can bring it back Right? So once you close your eyes, let's drop in our hearts. Let's see if we can bring back the practice. Oh, yawn. Let the energy go. Oh, soften your body. So I'm going to ask, what is the practice tonight? What is the practice tonight? Let me teach you one of my favorite practices. I have lots of sacred practices that I do, and this is one of them. So I just found this bowl at the store, right? You don't have to have a bowl like this. Just, I like this bowl. I thought it was beautiful. So this bowl actually sits at the edge of my bedroom. When I leave the door of my bedroom, I see this bowl. And in this bowl are prayers. And the way that I write my prayers is I write them in gratitudes. So if you were wanting five new clients, you would say, I'm so deeply grateful for the five perfect fit clients that have come to me under grace and in perfect ways. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then that becomes a prayer that you put in your bowl. And I go one step further because I like to work with Christ as one of my ascended masters and guides. And I ask Christ to bless them to bless my prayers <sighs> that they'll be activated that they may be blessed with abundance and that they may come true that they will actually come to me and then every time i walk out of my door or into my door 
this prayer bowl is right there on the ground and I see it and I pray on it in my heart. God bless those prayers. You could put people in that prayer bowl. You could pray for people. You can pray for your children. You can pray for your future. You can pray. These are prayers that you want double, triple, quadruple prayers on, okay? It's like a really simple practice. It's also really powerful. So tonight, I want you to take five minutes, grab some piece of paper, and pick out anything that you are needing, desiring, hoping for. And you're going to take one topic per page. Remember, you're going to write it out like this. I'm so grateful for the loving partnership that has been dropped into my life under grace and in perfect ways. You can make it as flowery, as delicious as you want. Say the things that are going to make you feel the way you want to feel when that thing happens, right? So you're going to write it out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fold it up. And then you can ask if you want to ask the divine source, God, Christ. You ask who you feel the most comfortable with to bless these prayers. Sanctify these prayers. Activate these prayers. Bless them with success. And then you're going to hand them over to God. And every time you walk by that bowl, you're going to just say a silent prayer, blessing these prayers. It's one of my favorite practices. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I think you're going to love it. So I want you to just place your hands on your heart, breathing in and breathing out. Letting yourself really ease into this place of peace and softness, allowing you to receive all of the miracles that God has for you. Breathing in and breathing out. There we go. Placing a beautiful shield of light around you, handing you over to God and all of your prayers and dreams. And I will see you in the morning.